All right, good morning, everyone. I hope everyone's doing well and hanging in there. I know everyone's balancing a lot of different work right now, but um, you did an amazing job on your borders projects and Miss Diaz and I really enjoyed um, watching those <clears throat> this past week. So I'm here to explain your final project. And as you can see, I'm on this week's uh, history learning plan. So just to backtrack for a little bit, over the past two weeks, we've looked at two different social movements, as you know, the Zapatistas and the Chilean women's protests. And um, we've looked at why these groups protested, so the issues fueling their activism. Um, we've looked at how they've protested. And you've made a judgment call as to whether you think these activist movements were successful in their efforts. So for our final project, you're gonna do um, partly the same thing. You're gonna research and analyze a Latin American social movement of your own um, and make those same determinations. And I'll walk you through how you're gonna do that in a minute. Before I walk you through the research process for this final project, let me show you what the final product should look like. So I'm scrolling down to this beautiful document. And I'm switching the reporting tab. So yeah, let's make sure I can do this properly. Please help me out. Cool. Okay, so um, I'm on the handbook page. Basically, you'll see that this handbook um, lists some of the essential questions for our unit, the two essential questions. How does historical context um, shape activism and to what extent are social movements successful? Um, as you can see, when you carefully read through this handbook page um, description that we wrote for you, um, that there's a description kind of of what, where you've been so far and then your task. So. Given your knowledge on Latin American social movements, you've been asked to submit a written entry to be included in a handbook on activism. So basically the handbook is gonna include, um, it's gonna be a full class handbook, but it's gonna include the most effective practices that activists can use to seek change in certain contexts. Um, so you've seen some examples of that with the Zapatistas and the Chilean women's protests. Um, so as you can see here, this um, prompt is then gonna walk you through how you're gonna do this. So as you, as you begin creating your page, you're gonna focus on one um, form of activism that was used within a particular social movement. Um, so one type of activism. And I've linked the slides in case you're wondering what that means um, to review some examples. And then you're gonna identify a case study uh, that you, where you um, are going to kind of explore that um, example of activism in depth. And I actually think it would work better to choose your case study first and then identify um, the form of active, the type of activism you want to focus on. And this will make more sense when I show you the research organizer. But basically, here's um, the list of case studies that you can choose from. Um, and the next page breaks down each section of the handbook. So you'll read through this, um, but you'll notice that um, that's each section of the handbook, but you'll notice it lines up really well with the research organizer. So let's open the research organizer. Um, and we're going to record this tab. Um, so you'll notice that it lines up really well with the research organizer, which looks a lot like the Borders Project research organizer. We did this intentionally um, because you've done this before and mastered it. So again, um, you're going to basically research a day by day, you'll see in the learning plan schedule, um, these different uh, components of your handbook page. And these will actually translate really closely to the prompt for the handbook, as you'll see um, on the original uh, assessment document. So if we scroll down again, um, you're going for the research topic, which uh, according to different days, you'll be researching something different each day. Um, you will be recording your insights and specific evidence in the form of quotes or details from the sources that you find and that you check for credibility. And you'll be listing your source in the right-hand column. All right, so this is a research organizer. And again, it's a lot like what you worked with um, for the borders unit. So you're familiar with the format. All right, so let's go back to recording this tab. Okay. 
Um, so let's go back to this um, prompt. But as you'll see, I've included a sample student response um, below. So let's scroll down so you can see that. Um, for this example that I used, basically, um, this was on an example of activism in Ecuador. Uh, and so, as you can see, I, out, I detail the type of activism that was used in this instance, which is legal action. I provide some context. And the reason for this is that we've been paying a lot of, of attention to historical context and the role that that can play in prompting these movements. So you're going to do that with the case study that you choose. Um, and then you're going to look at some of the impacts that this activism has had and make a determination as to whether you think that it was successful based on your own criteria. And if you need support thinking about that, you can think about what you thought about when um, you were studying the revolutions movement with Misty S earlier this year. Cool. All right, and at the end, you will include a works cited page. All right, so again, here's some lists of activism that you can choose from. Your research organizer is linked. And if you'd like to do something else, please let us know. All right, so again, thank you for all of your hard work on this. We're excited to see what you come up with. Please email me or reach out with any questions um, or Miss DS. And just in case you need a little inspiration because we're in the home stretch, I wore this shirt for you today. Yeah, you're welcome. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Have a great day.